me start myself by verifying this most important problem on Stokes theorem from vector integral theorems. The problem is ready on the screen and we have to verify Stokes theorem for f bar is given as x square minus y square i bar plus 2xyj bar over the box bounded by the plane. Planes x is equal to 0, x is equal to a, comma y is equal to 0, comma y is equal to b. So here according to the Stokes theorem we have line integral of f bar dot dr bar is equal to surface integral of curl f bar dot n into ds. So we have to verify both the ways and here it is given as f bar is given as x square minus y square i bar plus 2xy into j bar. First of all, I am going to solve through this line integral. Here, the lines are given, the planes, x is equal to 0, x is equal to a, y is equal to 0, comma y is equal to b. And here, it is the box formed by the points, that is, o is 0, comma 0, origin, and a is a, comma 0, b point is a, comma b, and c point is 0 comma b and first of all we have to calculate the line integral along OA. So this is O comma A and origin O is nothing but 0 comma 0 and A point is nothing but A comma 0. If you observe that x varies from 0 to A and y is stable as constant as 0 and here I am going to write x varies from x varies from 0 to a and y is equal to 0 implies dy is equal to 0. Now I am going to calculate along oa. So f bar dot dr bar is equal to this is x square minus y square dx minus 2xy. So this is 2xy into dy. So if I substitute dy is equal to 0 here this whole thing will be 0 and again if I keep y is equal to 0 and the limits are from x from 0 to 0 to this is a so if i substitute then this will be 0 to a 0 to a so this is x square minus 0 into dx so for x square it is x cubed by 3 between the limits 0 to a so the answer here is a cubed by 3 therefore we got the line integral along OA is f bar dot dr bar is equal to a cube by 3 and the next one is along after OA we have to calculate along AB. So this is along AB. So this is along AB. So what is the point A here? A is nothing but a comma 0 and B point is nothing but a comma B. So if you observe x is equal to a and y varies from 0 to b. So here x is equal to a so x value is equal to a therefore dx is equal to 0 and y varies from 0 to b so if i substitute the same that is integral f bar dot dr bar value is equal to this is x square minus y square dx plus 2xy into dy so if i substitute then the dx value is 0 then this will be 0 the whole thing will be 0 and if i substitute x is equal to a here and the y limits is from 0 to b if i substitute then this will be 0 to b 2ay into dy so this is 2a into for y it is y square by 2 between the limits 0 to b if i cancel this one this will be a b square therefore we got integral a b f bar dot dr bar value is a b square and this is our second value so this is the second line integral so after that along oa and along ob the next one is along bc so if you see this is along bc along bc the b point is along bc what is the b point here a comma b and the c point is 0 comma b if you observe the x varies from a to 0 and y is constant so x varies x varies from a to 0 and y is constant as b therefore dy is equal to 0. Now I am going to calculate the line integral along bc that is f bar dot dr bar is equal to x square minus y square dx plus 2xy. So this is 2xy into dy. If I substitute dy is equal to 0 this whole thing will be 0 and in place of this y I have to sub substitute y is equal to b in this and the x varies from a to 0 
So if I substitute the same thing here, this will be x square minus b square of dx from a to 0. So for x square, it is x cubed by 3 and integral dx is x, b square is constant between the limits a to 0. If I substitute the upper limit, this will be 0 and for lower limit, it will be minus a cubed by 3 and this is minus of minus plus a b square. This is b c f bar dot dr bar and this is the third value. So after getting the third value b c and next along after b c it is along c o. So this is along along c o. The c point here is 0 comma b and the o point here is 0 comma 0. If you observe x is equal to 0 and y varies from b to 0. So if x is equal to 0, then dx is automatically 0 and y varies from b to 0. If I substitute the same thing that is integral c o, f bar dot dr bar value will be x square. So this is x square minus y square dx plus 2xy into dy. If I substitute in this, then dx is equal to 0. This whole thing will become 0. And in this, if I substitute x is equal to 0 and y limits are from b to 0. So, if I substitute 2 into 0 into y dy from b 0, this whole thing will become 0. Therefore, integral cd f bar dot dr bar is equal to 0 and this is the fourth value. So, after getting all the four values, now we have to calculate. Now, we have to calculate integral f bar dot dr bar. The line integral f bar dot dr bar value will be integral oa f bar dot dr bar next ab f bar dot dr bar and next bc f bar dot dr bar and the next co this is f bar dot dr bar all the four values are ready with us and see the first value is along oa so this is so if you see this is along along oa oa value is nothing but a cube by 3 this is this value is a cube by 3 this value is a cube by 3 and the next one along a b this value is a a b square and the next one this value third value is nothing but minus a cube by 3 plus a b square this is plus a b square and the final value is 0 if i cancel these two then what remains the remaining value is 2ab square which is nothing but line integral of f bar dot dr bar this is nothing but a so after getting the a value so what we have to do so we have to verify our problem so we got the value as 2ab square so see here our line integral value is 2ab square after getting 2ab square we have to go with the verification part so how we have to verify so we have to calculate the curl f bar and then we have to substitute in the formula first of all this is the verification part so in this what is f bar given so f bar is given as if you see here this is x square minus y square into i bar plus 2xy into j bar so this will be curl f bar is equal to i bar j bar and this is k bar this is dou by dou x dou by dou y this is dou by dou z this is x square minus y square this is 2xy 0 and if you see this is curl f bar value is i times of dou by dou y this is 0 this is dou by dou y this one is 0 minus j bar times of dou by dou x this is 0 minus 0 plus k bar times of dou by dou x of this one x is 1 2y remains minus dou by dou y of this is minus 2y so this will become plus 2y therefore curl f bar value is 4y into k bar so after calculating so we have to calculate surface integral of curl f bar dot n into ds so which is equal to which is equal to curl f bar is nothing but 4y into k bar and here n is equal to k bar into ds so remember that in xy plane in xy plane n is equal to k bar 
as I said you earlier in my previous videos. So this will be k bar dot k bar is 1 and this will be double integral of 4y into dx into dy. So the y limits are x from 0 to a. So x limits are from 0 to a and y limits are from 0 to b from the question here. If you see the limits are given here. So within that limits we have to calculate this will be 4 into for y it is y square by 2 and integral dx is x. So this limits are from 0 to b and this limits are from 0 to a and if I cancel this for 2 times if I cancel this for 2 times this will be 2b square a. So which is nothing but curl f bar dot n into ds and this is b. So this is 2 a b square so we got the final value as this is also 2 a b square so this value is also nothing but 2 a b square so this is nothing but 2 a b square therefore from a and b so we got line integral of f bar dot dr bar value is equal to surface integral of f bar dot n into ds which is equal to 2 2 a b square so this is 2 a b square we got the equal value and hence stokes theorem is verified so this is how we have to solve and your consistent practice will make you confident and hopefully these videos will help you a lot and before you leave don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and thank you for watching and staying till the end